Johnny Depp, a man who's had a very interesting life in ways that are both funny and sad. This can be linked to the current predicament in his life as he's going through a long and rigorous court case with his ex-wife and Amber Heard, one that is calling his very nature and character into question, and he's in the fight for his life and reputation in order to prove that he isn't what Amber Heard says he is. Hey guys, it's your girl Melanie, and I'm back at it with the Johnny Depp stuff. I'm sorry, it's like the biggest thing going on right now. And I found this video um, that's basically about times, you know, it's about a year old, a little over a year old, but it's all the times Johnny Depp kind of like um, signaled in public that something was wrong, but no one really took him serious because he, he does like to try to disguise things with jokes. Um, but it also highlights some problematic behavior of uh, Amber Heard. So let's take a look at it. Globe, do you have a message for your fans right now, Mr. Depp? I'm scared to death. <laughs> I'm frightened and I don't know what to do. I'm confused and I want to go home. <laughs> You promoted the, the Mandy Lane film. No, I a, didn't. You weren't there? Okay, I'm no, my mom. I didn't go to Toronto. I was filming Because there were so many other people. <laughs> Hold on one second. No problem. Uh, Courtney, yeah. I can't, I, I really, I can't do this if people are coming in and out of the door. It's really distracting. Okay. Extremely. Cute. Now, I don't know what that exact situation, yeah, if someone's coming in and out the door is distracting, um, I don't know what they were talking about when they were on the red carpet, but I have to say, is it me or does she come across as extremely unlikable? Like she just feels like that stuck up girl that always, um, you know, got her way and just very manipulative. Like, it, I don't know, her energy is just so nasty to me. I don't know why. I, I honestly cannot put my finger on why I just don't rock with her like that. But uh, yeah, let's continue. Would you listen to this, please? Punching. Okay, I'm sorry. See, she's not taking it serious. She's talking about punching him on the jaw. And if you don't know, I'm going to react to the secret tapes um, of both of them. Uh, on this channel because I think it's really important. I think this this trial is really landmark in terms of um, relationships and uh, men's rights. Also with, you know, women who, um, in my opinion, falsely accuse a man of this. It's very serious because p women who do go through it, um, you know, people can actually take this this case and say, oh, she's probably like an Amber Heard. Um, and it, I think it'll be like a saying, like you were Amber Heard or she's, you know, Amber heard it or whatever the name is. She has a weird last name. Anyway, let's keep going. Basically, I had a pretty nasty injury. The first bottle went just past my ear, and the second one was a larger bottle, and she threw it from about this distance. And it smashed into the bar, which and, and this this finger, the, the the tip of the finger was severed. All the bone in here was. Uh, completely shattered. I mean, it's, it looked like Vesuvius. Personally, um, Johnny is one of the most uh, soulful and kind-hearted and, and, and gentle uh, humans that I know. So to see him get transformed into a man Do you think that he, his career will ever recover from this? Johnny Depp a man who's had a very interesting life in ways that are both funny and sad. This can be linked to the current predicament in his life as he's going through a long and rigorous court case with his ex-wife and Amber Heard, one that is calling his very nature and character into question, and he's in the fight for his life and reputation in order to prove that he isn't what Amber Heard says he is. And if you paid attention during certain points in his life, he kind of warned what was happening to him, even if you didn't realize it. So we broke a story on the website yesterday. I gotta say, did not see this coming, but we found out not only is Johnny Depp getting divorced, but it is a bitter, nasty divorce. Number five, the split from his first wife. One could argue that the first signal was the one that we've sadly seen all too often. Mainly that Johnny Depp and Amber Heard met on the set of the movie, The Rum Diary. At the time, both of them were in other relationships, with Johnny being with his wife, Vanessa Paradis. However, after meeting Heard, the two apparently fell for one another and things kind of escalated from there, to the extent that both of them left their previous partners to go and be together. 
You also spoke about recently becoming single. Has that been a strange adjustment for you? You make sure your first your kids are okay and that they understand and uh, it's, it's normal. There's no reason for people to get sort of weird and hate each other. Now, on one hand, this is something that happens all too often in Hollywood. We all know about the situation between Brad Pitt, Jennifer Aniston, and Angelina Jolie. And this was very much along those lines in regards to another woman entering the man's life and changing it up. But the way it went down and the way Johnny was willing to leave Paradise after 25 years and a couple of kids should have been a signal that he was being seduced by someone that may not have had the best interest at heart. It's funny comparing that to Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie because we know Brad Pitt left with Jennifer Aniston for Angelina Jolie. It's like they get seduced and that's their own undoing. Um, that's their fault because, you know, I'm not giving them a pass on that because they left their wives, they left certain women and then they went to the, you know, basically left their wives for another relationship and look at how both of those situations turned out. It's, it's, I don't know. Is there something about, I don't know what it is where they're able to be, just seduced into a relationship that really ends up being their undoing. Amber wrote an op-ed piece for the Washington Post in December detailing how her career had been damaged after she made accusations of a against Johnny. Johnny's lawyer says that these allegations were all a hoax to get the public to side with Amber in their divorce proceeding. Well, Amber, you hang in there and, you know, fight your fight and you know your truth, whatever that is. Though, somewhat ironically, when Johnny's character was called into question, Paradis was more than happy to speak about Johnny's true nature and say that Heard was lying. I've known Johnny Depp for more than 25 years. Through all these years, I've known Johnny to be kind, attentive, generous, and nonviolent person and father. Paradis also acknowledged her awareness of the allegations which Amber Heard has publicly accused Johnny of for more than four years now, but insisted that those accusations were inconsistent with the true Johnny I have known. Hopefully Johnny understands the mistake he made by divorcing Paradis because it's clear that though they ended their relationship on not the best of terms, she still has nothing but love and respect for Depp. So that says a lot about his ex-wife. She still speaks highly of him and defended him against Amber Heard's accusations, even though Johnny Depp left her for him. So obviously, you know, this woman, um, you know, I don't know their relationship issues or anything like that, but she stood by his side, you know, despite um, how he did her. Now, you know, I'm sure she's moved on and she's in a, a different situation now, but this is very interesting. Number four, I want to go home. This one was something that everyone no doubt missed when it was first spoken because it likely was taken as a Johnny Deppism. In 2016, before Johnny and Amber's saga of divorce and abuse filings came around, Depp was at the London premiere of Alice Through the Looking Glass, the sequel to the hit live-action take on Alice in Wonderland, where Johnny Depp played and was beloved for his role as the Mad Hatter. However, at said London premiere, he was asked if he had any messages for his fans. And here's what he said word for word. I'm scared to death. I'm frightened. And I don't know what to do. I'm confused and I want to go home. I'm scared to death. <laughs> I'm frightened and I don't know what to do. I'm confused and I want to go home. Now, as you can see and hear, the people in the audience, including the interviewer, thinks that this is Johnny Depp being Johnny Depp. And even Johnny laughs at the end. But if you look at his face when he's saying those lines, when he's conveying them to the audience, does that look like a man who's joking to you? Does that look like someone who has the will to go and make light of a situation? So yeah, I mean, looking back, you know, it just seems like Johnny Depp being weird, because he can be a little weird. Um, if you guys don't know, he's also had a lot of substance abuse issues. Um, but he's, you know, that's outside of this DV charge because he's had, uh, substance abuse issues for years and he's never, everyone speaks super highly of him and how he's a great person, his great character and how kind he is, including his ex-wife. But here you could see it looking back, it was done in a joking way, but like, why, why do you say that? He was actually being honest, but he knew people would not actually think he was being honest. They would take it as a joke. So he laughed along with it because he was being 100% honest right there, but he, it, wow, that's, I wonder how many celebrities, if we could look back at some of the things they've said, and maybe they've met their demise, or other things have happened to them, but if we look back, we thought it was a joke, or they were just being weird, but they were actually telling the truth. We don't think so. What's more, this was at the movie premiere that was before his divorce was about to start, so this would have been one of the lower points in his life, so he would have no reason to make light of a situation like this. And let's go back to the words themselves. Notice all the things he said. He noted he was scared and frightened. What was he scared and frightened of? Then he said he was in a place where he didn't know what to do. What did he mean by that? 
It likely meant that he could see the situation with him and Amber spiraling out of control, and that he wasn't sure what was going to happen next, and he didn't know how to get out of it, which is enforced by something that we'll talk about later. Finally, he said he was confused and he wanted to go home. What was he confused about? Why Amber was doing this to him? Why someone he loved and cherished, and wanted to be with in the best way possible, was treating him in the worst way possible? And in regards to the go home line, he's not referring to his home with Amber, but just saying he wants to go to a place where he feels safe and secure, like a home should be. You might think that this is reading in between the lines a little bit, but if you look at where he is now and what happened in 2016 when he did that interview, things line up. Number three, his performances. Here's another thing you need to remember. At one point in time, Johnny Depp was one of the highest paid and most sought after actors in all of Hollywood. He was a young star via films like Edward Scissorhands. But when he came onto the big screen in his adult life via Pirates of the Caribbean and wowed people with his Jack Sparrow character, people fell in love with him, hands over first. He was being put into all sorts of movies, both good and bad, and acting alongside some of the biggest names in Hollywood like Christian Bale, Angelina Jolie, and more. He was a star, but if you track how he was during his prime and then what happened when he got married to Amber Heard, he very much started to take a downward spiral. He started using drugs and alcohol more. He started getting into trouble with things like customs, and to be clear, one incident was very much Amber Heard's fault. He started having money issues and started doing weirder and worse movies, like Transcendence, to try and make up for his losses and so on and so forth. And he helped ride the Pirates franchise into the ground. He was even said to be so out of it during Pirates 4 and 5 that they had to put an earpiece in him so they could read off his lines to him. Yeah, I want to say, you know, I think the spiral started even him getting with with Amber Heard because he left his wife and he started doing drugs and alcohol more and it's been alleged okay a lot of people speculate this but it's alleged um I don't have this as fact but that Amber Heard used to supply him with a lot of you know that she used to want him to be drunk want him to be kind of high because if you see <clears throat> how she filmed him and some of the things that she did it just seems like she tried to um, orchestrate his downfall once she realized, you know, she was going to discard him or she didn't want to be with him anymore. And this is a side note. Before she got with Johnny Depp, she got with a, she was with a woman. Um, so she was dating another woman. And I think they, she was charged with DV against that woman. I can't remember right now, but I feel like that was, that's what happened was alleged. Um, <clears throat> then after Johnny Depp, she's gotten with, um, she was, uh, I think, most recently with another woman, uh, but they broke up. So it just seems like, and then she got with Elon Musk, but she has a history of actually having a lot of relationships with women, not men. But the men she do, does get with, it seems like to be high value, high profile, very rich men um, as a way for her to come up. But that's just that's just my feelings and speculation about her. I don't have that as fact, but it just seems very peculiar. Um, but it does seem like it was almost orchestrated for Johnny Depp to... Uh, you know, taking advantage of a man who honestly uh, had a abuse, you know, a substance abuse problem. But again, he's a grown man. He decided to leave his wife and he allowed himself to be seduced by this woman. So we don't feel sorry for Johnny Depp because of, you know, he made that choice. He didn't have to leave his wife. Um, and, and, you know, it's just, it's, he doesn't deserve what's happened to him by any stretch of the imagination. This is, this is, you know, we are not, I am, I believe Johnny Depp and I am actually on Johnny Depp's side and I hope that he can overcome this and beat her in court. That's my prayer. But at the same time, um, you know, just like I hold a lot of women accountable on things. I mean, if this was a woman and it was the opposite situation, I think a lot of, a lot of people will say, well, why did she leave her husband? Why she didn't leave, why she leave her marriage and all this other stuff. And she got with the young guy who was done that and look what he's done to her. Same thing for Johnny Depp. So, you know, it's a cautionary tale for all of us. To him and thus have him say them because he couldn't memorize his parts of the script. That doesn't sound like a guy who has it all there. Don't you think? While it's true we have seen actors go and change their habits and attitudes after getting fame and fortune, this turn was truly sudden and unexpected. So when you really think about it, this was a cry for help, because he was drowning in his marriage with Heard and was seeking any relief he could find to get out of it, even if for a short time. Number 2. The Audio Tapes Fast forward a little, let's head now to the court case that is going on between Depp and Heard, because in the immediate times of the case, many people sided with Amber Heard because it wasn't clear who was telling the truth and who was lying. Heard was the one claiming to be abused, and so people started to side with her, to which Johnny fired back with some evidence to prove it was the other way around. Mainly, an audio tape released that had the following. Amber. 
I'm sorry that I didn't hit you across the face in a proper slap, but I was hitting you. I was not punching you. Babe, you're not punched. I don't know what the motion of my actual hand was, but you're fine. I did not hurt you. I did not punch you. I was hitting you. Depp, I left last night. Honestly, I swear to you because I just couldn't take the idea of more physicality, more physical abuse on each other. Because had we continued it, it would have gotten effing bad. And baby, I told you this once, I'm scared to death. We are a effing crime scene right now. Amber, I can't promise you I won't get physical again. God, I effing sometimes get so mad I lose it. That changes a lot of the perspective, don't you think? And notice how he said the line, I'm scared to death. That's very similar to the London interview we cited earlier. Plus, the fact that he felt he needed to record that proves that he knew he was in danger, that things might go even further south, and that he needed to be ready to defend himself. Number one, what does this say about Johnny? After hearing all of these signals and messages, you might wonder why Johnny stuck it out so long with Amber Heard when it was clear she was bad for him. The answer to that is just Johnny's nature. He's not the kind of guy who leaves a relationship when it's bad. His mother, for example, was incredibly cruel to him, and yet he loved her until the day she died. He likely thought if he could endure what Amber was doing to him, things would get better. But alas, that wasn't the case at all. One must wonder what would have happened if we had realized these signals sooner. So, yeah, I mean, <clears throat> I was going to say that he used the same terminology in the tape that he said at that when he was at that movie thing. So that's how you know this wasn't coming from, you know, he wasn't acting. He was actually that, when in his private conversations, that's how he speaks. And that's what he was doing there, being honest. So anyway, guys, I'm going to be following more of the trial. Leave a comment below. Let me th know what you think about this. And also if any videos you want me to cover. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.